Titurus, lying back beneath wide beechen cover, you meditate the woodland muse on slender oat. We leave the boundaries and sweet ploughlands of home. We flee our homeland. You, Titurus, cool in shade, are teaching woods to echo lovely Amaryllis. O oh, Meliboeus, a god has made this leisure ours. Yes, he will always be a god for me. His altar, a tender ram lamb from our folds, will often stain. He has allowed, as you can see, my cows to range, and me to play what tune I please on the wild reed. I am not envious, more amazed. The countryside's all in such turmoil. Sick myself, look, Titurus, I drive goats forward. This one I can hardly lead. For here, in the hazel thicket, just now dropping twins, ah, the flock's hope, on naked flint, she abandoned them. I keep remembering how the oak trees touched of heaven, if we had been right-minded, foretold this evil time. But give us that god of yours. Who is he, Titurus? The city men call Rome, I reckoned, Eleboius, fool that I was like this of ours, to which we shepherds are often wont to drive the weanlings of the ewes. So puppies are like dogs, I knew, so kids are like their mother goats, so I'd compare big things to small. But she has raised her head among the other cities, high as a cypress tree above the Gelder Rose. And what was your great reason then for seeing Rome? Liberty which, though late, looked kindly on the indolent, after my beard fell whiter to the barber's trim, looked kindly, though, and after a long while arrived, after Amaryllis had us and Galatea left. For, yes, I will confess, while Galatea held me, there was no hope of liberty nor thought of thrift. Though many a sacrificial victim left my pens, and much cream cheese was pressed for the ungrateful city, my right hand never came back home heavy with bronze. I wondered, Amaryllis, why you wept and called to the gods, for whom you left fruit hanging on the tree. Titurus was away. The very pines, Titurus, the very springs, these very orchards called to you. What could I do? For nowhere else could I escape from slavery or meet divinities so present. It was here I saw him, Meliboeus, the young man for whom twice six days every year our altar smokes. It was here to my petition he first gave reply. Graze cattle as before, my children, and yoke bulls. Lucky old man, the land then will remain your own, and large enough for you, although bare rock and bog with muddy rushes covers all the pasturage. No unaccustomed feed will try your breeding ewes, and no infection harm them from a neighbour's flock. Lucky old man, among familiar rivers here and sacred springs, you'll angle for the cooling shade. The hedge this side, along your neighbour's boundary, its willow flowers, as ever feeding hibbler bees, will often whisper you persuasively to sleep. The pruner under that high bluff will sing to the breeze, nor yet meanwhile will cooing pigeons, your own brood, nor turtle dove be slow to moan from the airy elm. Then sooner will light-footed stags feed in the sky, and ocean tides leave fishes naked on the shore. Sooner in exile, wandering through each other's land, will Parthian drink the Arar, or Germany the Tigris, than from our memory will his face ever fade. But we must leave here, some for thirsty Africa, others for Scythia and Oaxi's chalky flood, and the Brittany quite cut off from the whole world. Look, shall I ever, seeing after a long while my father's bounds and my poor cabin's turf-heaped roof, hereafter marvel at my kingdom, a few corniers, some godless veteran will own this fallow tilth. These cornfields are barbarian. Look where strife has led Rome's wretched citizens. 
we have sown fields for these. Graft pear trees, Meliboeus, now set vines in rows. Go, little she-goats, go, once happy flock of mine. Not I hereafter, stretched full length in some green cave, shall watch you far off, hanging on a thorny crag. I'll sing no songs, not in my keeping, little goats. You'll crop the flowering lucerne and bitter willow. However, for tonight you could rest here with me, upon green leafage. I can offer you ripe fruit and mealy chestnuts and abundance of milk cheese. Far off the rooftop, rooftops of the farms already smoke, and down from the high mountains taller shadows fall. 